Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Real short video, just a few comments on HBO's decision to stop doing business with Golden Boy. In my opinion, this decision is completely absurd. What it does is it guarantees that HBO subscribers are not going to get access to some of the best boxers on the planet. When a fighter hires an Al Heyman who manages many of Golden Boy's fighters or hires Golden Boy to promote the fight, understand that both Al Heyman and Golden Boy owe a fiduciary duty to the fighter. In other words, um, what Al Heyman and Golden Boy should be trying to do is to get as much money and as good a deal for their fighters as possible. Right? What they're trying to do is to maximize the financial opportunities both in the ring and outside of the ring for their fighters, right? To help the fighters professionally and image wise. Now, sometimes the best deal being offered to the fighter is going to be from an entity other than HBO. So, in the business world, when HBO hears that a Floyd Mayweather, an Al Heyman fighter, who typically works closely with Golden Boy, has received a better offer from Showtime and has decided to leave HBO for Showtime. HBO shouldn't hold a grudge. HBO should simply view it as a boxing manager, Heyman, and a promoter, if the promoter was involved, Golden Boy, doing what they should be doing to get the fighter the best deal, right? Keep in mind, these executives are able to operate from the safety of behind their desks. It's the fighters who have the shorter careers, who are on the firing line, right? Literally risking their health in the ring. Given the fact that we don't have a good pension system in boxing, and given the fact that these careers can often end on one punch, these fighters and their teams really do owe it to themselves to get the best deals possible. So, if HBO has decided to sever ties with Golden Boy because some um, Golden Boy affiliated fighters, Saul Alvarez for example, have gotten better deals from Showtime, then all I can say is to the HBO subscribers, you're not getting your money's worth, right? Your cable outlet should be out there aggressively trying to get the best boxers and the best boxing events out there. If the cable company's holding grudges and passing on fights with golden boy fighters like Amir Khan, another guy who left HBO and ended up at Showtime, Saul Alvarez, Lucas Mathis, Devin Alexander. If HBO is flatly deciding not to deal with those fighters, then quite frankly, you as an HBO subscriber are not getting access to some of the best fighters fighting in some of the biggest fights, right? Let's hope HBO rethinks this. The headline shouldn't be HBO severs ties with Golden Boy because that hides the truth. What the headline should be is that HBO has severed ties with a long list of fighters. And what they should do is name those fighters, right? They're Golden Boy affiliated. Because once the public understands how many prime fighters we're talking about, and these fighters include guys like Marcus Maidana, Abner Maris, Peter Quillen, right? If you were to list out all the fighters 
that HBO has just severed ties with, you would know that HBO is making a mistake and is doing their boxing fans who are subscribers a disservice. This is outrageous. Al Heyman and Golden Boy, quite frankly, should be praised for aggressively negotiating the best deals for their clients. By the way, that's what the clients hire them to do. No one hires a manager and says, hey, get me the third or fourth best deal that you can get. No, they say, hey, I'm hiring you. Do the best job you can, right? Have my back financially. Get me the best deals. Let's not villainize guys who are doing just that. And let's not villainize fighters who are trying to get the best deals in championship fights while they can. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and dwyerboxingnews.com. Thanks for watching.